Hi, my name is Jonathan West, and this morning I taught rope dart flow and expression. The class in, in its entirety was to help individuals with flowing the, with their rope dart in performances, uh, on their own, uh, for their peers, um, and for various other situations through which they want to reach, reach a flow state. So some of the things we covered in class were the different dualities of rope dart. A couple of the, du the dualities that we discussed were expression through how you move the dart. Expression can be seen in both a heavy dart, where you move your entire body with the dart's motion, or a very light dart, where you're moving almost none of your body and you're moving the dart individually. This can help you find expression and flow. Express yourself with the dart. A couple of the uh, a couple other dualities that we encountered were the horizontal versus the vertical and the technical. versus the fluid. There are many different dualities in DART that can help you express the type of motion you're looking for. Keep exploring these dualities and find out how to combine them together to create new emotions and new expressions. Later on in the class, we discussed a lot about how to set up one maneuver to flow into another, or how to integrate one maneuver inside of the other, using some of these expressions. This sequence of events can be trained beforehand, and then over years and years of training, this can become natural. This can become a flow state naturally on the field. So, when I discuss the mindsets of combining maneuvers, I personally drill a sequence together and do it over and over and over again and then replace one or two of those maneuvers, moves in the sequence to force myself to remember that I can combine moves differently. Then, when I go out in the field, if I've done it enough, it'll come naturally over time. So, for instance, there are a few moves that I sneak other moves inside of. I can cast this behind my back and bring it around. This is halfway through a move. This is an open knot that I'm attempting to complete. In this state, I can put an elbow crossover in the middle. And now I can finish my move. This is one example of many where you can take one trick and place it inside of another. Or, by combining moves, by thinking about how you're going to end a move before you start the next one, think about standard positions. This is a standard position for down and front for me. I know that many of my moves start with down and front. I know some of my moves also end in down and front. By exploring how I can continue into different moves by the ending of others, and continuing to expand that exploration on my own time, when I go to perform or get to flow, that becomes natural. So for instance, I may cast, and that cast is a form of down and front. So if I'm casting after an empty knot, I can go right into the next move. I ask that you continue exploring combining moves in a drill sense, and it will become natural back out on the field. That's it for now.